Lost him in the water there for a second. We've had a bit of time for the new season of Fortnite to cook. So I think it's finally time for my first tip video of the Myths and Mortals season. And it's ironically my first solo victory of the season as well. And it's entirely because I chose double movement. Now as opposed to last season where you had the grapple blade and the shockwave next to each other and the grapple blade was just a worse version of the shockwave in most cases. The Icarus wings and the shockwave in this season are very different. And as you've probably experienced yourself, if you try to use the wings to get aggressive, the tables end up getting turned on you pretty quickly. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the double movement to your advantage so that you can quickly sweep across the map, get in on those fights, and secure those victory royales. If you're new here and you enjoy seeing these type of videos, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what's your go-to loadout this season. And use code SOURHARD in the Fortnite item shop. Thank you for that subscription. Thank you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, of course. Who? Come on, man, that fight was hard enough. Now I've been enjoying landing directly on top of the underworld arena. There's an easily accessible god chest with a couple of ambient loot drops around it, and it makes for probably the best drop in that entire POI. You also have the ability to get some ambient Cerberus skulls because the river sticks around the entire area, and it makes running the fights in this zone pretty easy, all things considered. Run, and you cannot grapple those. That is so odd. Lost him in the water there for a second. Oh yeah, we gotta... I don't know, every time I come back here, this one is here. I don't want to say it's 100%. Because I really don't know. But I'm just getting good luck with this, at the very least. We're going to go for Hades right now. If there's other people here, they'll get baited out, so. Now, there's actually a secret door under the arena of the underworld. I keep getting tricked by that door. I don't know what's down there, bro. I, ha I actually got to defeat Hades and then go down there. I think. Can we actually get that chain? I've seen like footage of people using it, but that might have just been like the trailer or teaser stuff. I really don't know. Maybe that, oh, that might be what's downstairs. All right, since we're currently using it, we are going to grab his SMG, though I would prefer not to be using the SMG. And as you'll see, Hades coin does not open the door, so it's possibly related to something happening later on in the season. Hey, Comment hey. down below if you have a theory on this secret underworld door. Oh, that's got to be something that's unlocking later in the season. See, those. It's this is a strange season, too. Like, Grapple Blade was good at all points of the game. So whether you had Grapple Blade or Shockwave, it was a style choice. Right now, it's like Wings are good in the middle, and Shockwaves are good at the beginning and the end. Anytime you're near structures or the circle is small. So it's like there's a value to... There's a cost, a value judgment here. Hold up, hold up. Does he... He did. That guy had no plan, but I wonder if he just had no movement. Like, he had all advantage there. But that kind of shows why DMR is useful, huh? I hit him for 130 with two shots, and he was just reeling. Oh, this isn't scoped, is it? Oh, that's nice. Dude, can we take this somewhere to get a scope on it? Down here? Yes. Though Wait. the Mythic Harbinger yes. is probably one of the best SMGs we've had in a long time. I'm going to go ahead and drop it for the gold AR just because okay. everyone is using the wings and it's way easier to laser them with that weapon. So you can carry two. That's good to know. So I can burn one up and still have another. Unfortunately, when I got there, the bunker was already occupied. Really? Damn it, bro. This isn't worth it. 
this honestly straight up is not worth it. Going to the outermost regions of the Fortnite map and there's some dude there. And two scopeless weapons too, like, oh. Oh, I might even just drop this DMR. Definitely dropping DMR. They're both running off the same freaking uh, ammo, so. What is the mythic up there? I still don't know. I still don't know what you get for capturing this spot. Might be worth going for. Let's see. Let's get a little bit higher up. I don't even think we would make it to the capture point before circle closes. We went from the underworld all the way to Mount Olympus, bro. We've like, we've actually traveled quite a bit. Oh, and I used one of my charges. I actually forgot I still had charges from the river. He's going for it. He's probably got med kits. He would outlast us there. Instead... He, like, leapt right down my throat. <laughs> Abandoned all thought, dude. Kind of how these weapons are, though. The margin between life and death is so slim in modern Fortnite. All right, but we earn this. Double movement, I think, really is going to be the play. These wings are good for moving, but they're not good for juking. Every time I juke with these, I just get destroyed. So we're not doing that. That's what we need. Now we have super jump. And I'm actually going to burn one right now. not to be the right play. I'm a little worried about third parties. Other coin guy is already by antenna. Can I... Can I hire his NPC? I don't know what that is. I don't know why he's still like visible to me. Okay, you know what? This might be a fresh. Now my thought here was to switch the wings for the lightning bolt because in the end game, the wings okay. are very limited utility. But I ended up in an end game where the thunderbolts were even more useless. Play it different here. I came into endgame kind of late, so I was entirely focused on taking a safe position. And when I saw that the guy on the mountain across from me had a car and a scope, I focused purely on defensive play. Knowing that the circle will stay on me, there's no real need to leave this hill. I have high ground, but that doesn't mean anything with the current movement. That a limb just put us in the top three, and the hard rule of zero build top threes is those who fight uh, first use dash, usually bro. lose. God damn it. That keeps happening, where my feet will touch, and then... I want to take out that tree, but I can't sacrifice for it. He's trying to bait it. We got shocks, though. Let's just remember that. Shocks can win this game. Oh, of course, we got a guy back here. We need to play a little weird. Some wings. Just pay attention to the assets. I want him to heal. I want that guy to go for it. While trying to creep up, I get hit by a snipe shot, but because I planned out my end game and remembered where my assets were, I immediately shockwave over to those spare wings. And you've been watching me combine this Flowberry Fizz with the Shockwave the entire game, but this is why it's, in my opinion, the ultimate healing item. I'm able to get max distance out of my last two Shockwaves, which ultimately wins me the game off of these Icarus Wings.
There's no way. Yes, let's go, baby. Oh, dude, it was the smart play. Because I left him alive, I left the situation complicated. And then I used that to my advantage. Dude, and the wings. I planned that so perfectly, bro. That was all IQ.